This is our SLC-2E enemy artillery battery and rocket launcher detection and shell rocket calibration radar. It is mainly used to find the artillery shells or rockets fired by the enemy and then transmit the information of the shells or rockets to our command post. We can accurately determine the enemy's battery and launch position. Then use our artillery or rocket to strike the enemy locations, and at the same time, this radar can track our artillery shells and rockets and compare them with the enemy's position for calibration. That is, if we miss, it can be adjusted for pinpoint striking. On the actual battlefield, although aircraft and ships can launch sophisticated missiles, they cannot stay on the battlefield for a long time. The plane needs to turn back. Warships need supplies. But artillery and rocket launchers are often the protagonist of a battlefield, because they are a projector of firepower. More than 90% of the ammunition on the battlefield is actually fired by artillery and rocket launchers. So the main target of this radar is the artillery and rocket launcher target. Okay, uh, welcome you to CETC area. Uh, I'm from the Number 14 Research Institute of CTC. Okay. Uh, number 14 Research Institute is the key member of CTC group. And this institute is regarded as the cradle land of Chinese radar industry. I was a cradle of China's radar industry. So yeah. when was your company was founded? It was founded in 1946. That is 1946. Yeah. Wow. In 1946, that's quite a long history. So, uh, what? Uh, and this is our first time to attend the Zhuhai Air Show. The first time. And this time I brought with me uh, nearly 40 different types of uh, readers and other equipments covering military and the civilian sectors. And so we can see there are some models here for the different products. So can you tell us a little bit more about these uh, models? Okay. Uh, this. SRC 2E mm -hmm. is a weapon location radar. Weapon, weapon location? Weapon location radar. Uh -huh. What is a weapon location radar? I mean, with this radar, mm -hmm. you can locate the animal's artillery mm -hmm. and direct your own artillery to make counterattacks. So, this uh, is the radar, the, the main component of the radar, right? Uh, the whole this, thing. this is the this is the whole system. The whole system. Yeah. But it can mobile for anywhere. Of course. And this is a new generation one. Uh, for, this is a new generation one. It's only a models. Uh -huh. uh, we have exported hundreds of it to nearly uh, to dozens of countries. Wow. And, and it has been highly acknowledged by my customers for its good performance and reliability. Okay, yeah. so this product since when? Since uh, 2003. 2003. Yeah. So, guys, this product has been exported to dozens of countries and regions and uh, since 2003. So, uh, I you, mean the earlier models. Now this is a new generation one. Oh, this is a new generation. And it's a multifunctional one. Multifunctional. So yeah. what's the improvement of this product? Okay, uh, compared with the traditional weapon location readers, this new generation one uh, does have some superiorities. Superiority? Yeah, you, you can see from the experience. Mm -hmm. Please look at the antenna array. Mm -hmm. This big square is called antenna array. Mm -hmm. You can see from the uh, appearance, it looks very slimmer, like like Quite Apple thinner. Apple Mobile. Ah. You have big one, you have very slim, very compact one. Okay. Uh, with this slim antenna, mm. inside we have a lot of technology. Mm. Uh, we make lightweight design. Then we can get this lightweight antenna. With this lightweight, the vehicle can get more mobility, better trans transportability, and it can have better survivability on the battlefield, of course. Uh, so that means that this uh, new generation one has a larger capacity and a thinner weight, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's a major improvement. Yeah, uh, less sweat. Less weight? To make it more uh, mobile. Mo mobility. The mobility yeah. has been improved. Mobility is very important for the mm. battlefield. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, besides, this is a very uh, advanced one mm -hmm. in technology. In technology. We, this is the active 
for solid state phased array reader. Mm. It can make e electrical scanning on two dimensions, elevation and azimuth. And at the same time, it can make mechanical scanning on azimuth. Besides, we have adopted the third generation semiconductor technology like the gallium nitride transmitter technology. Anyway, it's very advanced in technology. Yeah. We can say it's one of, it reached the most advanced technical level in the world. Yeah, so as we can see, these are all the models of different radar systems. Yeah, and this new generation one, also has some other uh, superiorities. Uh -huh. It's a multifunctional one, as I've just mentioned. Multifunctional? Yeah, it can not only be used to uh, make weapon location. Because of the uh, uh, good performance, it can also be used to detect UAV. UAV. Cruise missile. So that's why it, it was called the eyes of army. Uh, it can detect everything from UAV. To missiles. Besides weapon location, mm -hmm. it can detect UAV, cruise missile, tactical aircraft, etc. So we have a name for that. It's mm -hmm. called King of the Land Warfare. Wow, that's a King of the Land Warfare? Something very important. The system is very advanced in technology and uh -huh. it's very powerful in performance and good reliability, good mobility. Uh -huh. But the cost of operation and maintenance during the full life cycle is very low so it's highly cost effective and my my customers love that yeah <laughs> so uh, i may ask you a question that uh, what's the weather condition impact for this radar system oh, does it have some uh, you know special condition what about the rain or wind or other uh, extreme weather will this affect this kind of radar system uh, in our design stage, mm -hmm. we have considered the operational environment, wow. including high and low temperature, and whether it's very uh, dusty or very dust. So all these things can be uh, considered and already taken into consideration in our design. Wow. It so, can be used on deserts, very high temperature, very uh, sandy. Yeah. Okay, so that's the uh, king of the land warfare, right?